What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a face cam border in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now this part you can skip, but this is what I did when I made my face cam border and I think it helps a lot. Now the way I do it is come to track motion, and then I will only have lock aspect ratio checked. I'll then drag it into a part I think is good for my face cam, and then I'll come to where it says preset and call it face cam. And then from here... I just press save preset. Now I'm not going to do it because it will overwrite my preset I currently have. But then I can just come here and select the face cam. And I won't have to remember these settings. After that I'll just come here and take a snapshot. And then I'll just save it to my desktop. So I'm just coming here to open up the image which is right here. Now from here it's actually very simple. Come here and create a new layer. Now just zoom in like this and then position it so you can see the face cam. Now we actually make the face cam border. So where the shape is, you come here, and this part is completely up to you. You can have it as a rounded rectangle, or just a rectangle, or even a circle, or a square if you have a square face cam. So mine's a rectangle, so I'm gonna select this. And then at the top here, you can see there is a fill. You wanna leave this. The one you wanna have is a stroke. Now the stroke is the outline of the face cam border, so pick a color you like or which represents your channel. So I'm going to have a cyan blue here, and then here is the stroke size, I thought it was about 21. And you can see I drew it out, and it looks pretty big, but if we uh, just zoom out from here, it actually looks okay. Of course if you didn't like it, you can come back and just make another one, maybe put the pixels down to 15, 13 maybe, 13 should be good. And then just draw it out again, left click and hold. And there is good for me. And that looks better. You can see once you drag it on, if you don't like it, you can change it directly from here. As you'll see. And in addition to that, you can also change the colour from here as well. So let's say we want it to go to a white. You can change it like that. Now if you want to round off the corners, come here. And then you'll see right here the pixels. And if you have this checked, once you move this one all of them will move as well. So as you'll see, all of them have now moved because we have that checked. So again, we can round it off like that. But again, you go too far and as you'll see, you can start seeing the edge of the face cam. So completely up to you if you want it rounded. You can now just close this and then now we can add some effects to it. So if you come here to the effects tab and we can come to blending options. Now if you want to bevel and bust, of course, just come here and check it. Up to you if you want it, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't, and you can change it, of course, any way you want it to be. You can add texture, you can add a stroke, stroke's not necessary since that is a stroke, but again, a stroke on top of a stroke can look good in some cases. So like that, you can see, it's got a black stroke with the blue, looks good. I'm actually going to keep that. Now if you want it a gradient colour, you can come here where it says gradient overlay, just check this. And as you'll see, it's now changed from a green and white. Now if you select this gradient here, you're gonna get this. You have a bunch of presets you can have and as you click them you can see you can see them changing. Completely up to you if you want them. Or if you want to make your own of course you can just come here select anywhere and then select the color. You'll get a color picker and let's have a green, red and a blue. You can have unlimited amounts of color here. Again completely up to you. So I'm going to pick a red, green and blue. You'll see as we drag this along, something called location is moving along as well. It's at 50% which means it's in the middle. So that means it's going to be fading in to the white and then to the black. But right now we're going to make this go to red. And then we're going to make the end one here go to blue, a cyan blue. And press OK. We can OK here as well. And as you'll see, it's green, red and blue. You can change the angle of how it looks, which you can see here, if you just drag the angle up, or just, you can type in as well if you want to. But you can see, you can now change the angle like that. And it's completely up to you how you want it. I'm going to leave mine at zero like that. 
you can add a pattern and of course you can add an outer glow but I wouldn't really recommend an outer glow because it can look a bit messy. So I'm going to add the text. Now if you want your text on the line then you'll see this and then you'll click on it. However I don't want mine on the line so I'm just going to draw it out underneath it. Put the font down a bit and then CS Plays of course is my channel and I'm going to change this font. Lemon Milk, there we go. And I'm also going to change it because the primary colour of my gaming channel is pink. So I'm going to have the CS in pink and then the plays in white. So just like that. And OK. And we'll make the text look a bit better in a minute. So I want it just there. And I'll make that a bit smaller. About 60, 69, 62. And press the check. And then once you're happy with it, just keep it in position. You can now zoom out. And that is how it'll look. Now to make the name stand out even more, we can add a black stroke. So again, we're coming back to the effects, and this time we're going to add directly a stroke. And this one, don't go too heavy. Again, it can look messy, but I'll say 6. 6 looks okay. 6, 5. 6 or 5, completely up to you which one you want. I'm going to press OK. And you've just made yourself a face cam. Now, of course, the face cam color doesn't go with the name itself. I'm just messing about and showing it you. So, of course, you can make it look better. Now, when saving it, you need to delete the background. So, the background image was the screenshot we first took. So, we can uncheck this pad by just left clicking it. And we're going to delete the layer. And this is what we're left with. From here, you want to come to File, Save As. And then, we're going to save it as a PSD first. That way, if we ever want to come back to edit it, we can just come back to this file and edit it and we won't have to create it all again. After that you can come to file save as and this time we're saving it as a PNG. That means it's going to have no background, it'll just have the face cam. I'm going to press save. OK. And now we can exit out of Photoshop and go back to Sony Vegas. OK, so remember the face cam we just made, if we come here and just drag it on top. And we zoom it out a bit. There you go. Look at that, it has now stayed in position the entire time. And if we just play through this, you can see it's going to stay stationary. And you've got yourself a face cam border just like that. Now if you didn't do the thing I showed you at the start where I positioned the face cam first and you want to position it after, well just come back to the track motion and then position the face cam like that. But of course this is more work because then you need to save another preset for the face cam itself, or the face cam border, and then you'll need to call this one face cam border. Save it, and then, boom, it's going to be in place like that. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I'll post four times a week. And finally check out my Snapchat, which you what I do throughout my day. See you guys casual savage thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.